What's up guys, Gary here with self -taught Dev. So today we are gonna learn how to customize the scroll bar. So first let's talk about the anatomy of a scroll bar. I've got this beautiful little paint demo here. So the first thing is the track. That is this whole white area in the background. That's the track. And then the thumb is the part that you click on and actually scroll up and down with. So if we go back here, if we say body height, 500 view height, now I've got a scroll bar here. So this part we grab, that's the thumb. The background is the track and the whole thing together is the scroll bar. And there are three properties you can use to target those. There's WebKit scroll bar, which is the whole thing. WebKit scroll bar track, which is just the background and WebKit scroll bar thumb, which is, as you might guess, just the thumb. So let's go ahead and grab that. We're gonna target HTML and this is for the scroll bar that appears when the page is over 100 view height. If you're targeting something uh, that's coming from uh, overflow X or Y, then you would target the specific element that has the scroll bar in it. But since we're just using the one that's on the page here, we'll target the HTML. We'll say dash webkit dash scroll bar. And then we will copy this and make two more of those and this is going to be scroll bar track and scroll bar thumb. And then we can style the whole scroll bar. So we can say width 50 pixels. And let's give this a background of gray. Cool, so now we can see that the white scroll bar is 50 pixels. Now we still need to give the thumb some kind of background so it'll show up. So we'll say background black. And then we'll save and refresh because CodePen has been messing with me and not auto updating. There we go. So now the scroll bar or the thumb is black. Now to make it look a little bit cooler, we could, let's go ahead and shrink this to 25 pixels. We'll make the track, we can leave the track. Actually, let's make the track background gray as well. And then for the thumb, we'll say border radius of 25 pixels. We'll save that and refresh because CodePen doesn't want to auto update. And then we've got this cool little pill scroll bar with no track. I think that's kind of similar to what Mac has by default, but I kind of like that better than the default scroll bar. Or you could also give it a gradient. So we could say linear gradient to bottom gray, blue. And now we've got this gray, blue, you, it kind of fades into the background. So I kind of like that. Um, maybe if we do red, would that show up a little bit better? Yeah, I like the red a little bit better, but it kind of has red on the bottom and then fades to the background color on the top. So that's kind of cool too. But my favorite thing to do is give it a background image. So I've got an image of a down arrow here. So instead of just regular background, we can say background image URL and give it that. And then it's, we'll get rid of the border radius um, we'll say background size, 25 pixels, uh, background repeat, no repeat. And why, oh, we forgot the semicolon there. And then if we save and refresh, there we go. So now we've got this down arrow. And now as we scroll down, that arrow scrolls down too, which is kind of cool. And then you could use JavaScript to flip the arrow when they start scrolling back up. So if they're scrolling down, you've got the down arrow, they're scrolling up, you use JavaScript to detect that, flip the arrow so it's scrolling up. That'd be kind of a cool effect. But those are some of the basic ways you can target the scroll bar. Um, again, if you, this is for the base scroll bar that appears if the document is over 100 view height. Again, if you're targeting something that's from overflow X or Y needing to scroll, then you would target the element itself and then have WebKit scroll bar, whatever you want to style. But that is how you customize a scroll bar. If you learned something cool from this, give me a thumbs up so YouTube and I know I'm doing a good job. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with the stuff I'm putting out. If you want to come be friends, uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram. That's in the description or come join the Discord or the Self-Taught Dev subreddit. Links to both of those are in the description as well. And if you want to get notified when my HTML CSS course comes out, look in the description of a way you can get that too. I think that's about it for this one. So I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Round. One.